Yo, what's up? I'm playing Hyper Zhao. Just any old Zhao. Was that a Turkish? I don't even know what flag they did. Singapore? Find out. I don't know why I said Singapore. Oh, it was. I'm a flag genius. I like to play this Joko piano because... I don't know. It's kind of simple. Don't have to memorize lots of stuff. Uh, H3 is risky because I haven't castled yet. And then he goes for some kingside attack. So we have to wait before playing H3 in these types of positions. Mm. Alright, rookie one's fine. If knight G4, I think I think I could just go um, rookie two. Rana's watching some loud stuff in the other room. Okay. Let's go for the center. So, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's loud as hell. Uh, what the heck is she watching? Anyway, we've grabbed the center. The guy hasn't castled yet. He was trying to hope that I would go h3 so he could do some attack on my king side. But when you haven't moved the pawns, it's very hard to attack. Wow. Um... Uh, it's a weird move. Uh, I guess bishop e3. Well, then I can take the e-pawn off. I have a good feeling about this move. I'm sacking a pawn, but not really, actually. So I have knight f5 at the end of everything. The big question is, if pawn takes pawn, do I go knight f5 right away? He can castle then. Give me a sec, I gotta ask her to turn this down. Alright. Gotta turn it down a little bit. Oh, let's just put my knight in the middle. Oh, I think the door was wide open was the issue. Queen g4, queen f6. Queen h5. Queen g3, which move, which move. Queen g4 or g3? Which one is better? I guess g3 makes more sense somehow. I'm not sure why. I'm attacking his knight. He'll probably move it. He'll probably go queen f6, sorry. Um, and then maybe h4. h4, king h8, h5, knight moves. Everything's okay for him somehow. Uh, I'm probably just going to go for. Just chill mode. I've given up trying to meet him. Oh, I had a queen takes g6, actually. I mean, it wasn't anything special, but maybe slightly better endgame. Hmm. Let's think. h4, knight e4, queen g6, queen g6, knight e7. It's no good. I'm just going to take this. And then probably bishop a7, h4? I don't know. I'm going to take that. If h4, you can take on... You can take on e4. Oh, but then I think queen g6 is good. So I'm going for a little cheapo here. He didn't fall for it. h5, though, is a pain. Maybe it's not that big a deal, actually. Maybe rook d1's best. Just kind of get our pieces into the game. I don't know. If I had a win... I don't know. I mean, rook d7's an idea now. I think I'll just play it. This rook is a pain in his ass. Uh, man, I used to watch over queen e3. See, h5, knight of 4. Bishop takes knight, he has to take with the queen. Then h5, we'll see. So close. Alright, I'm just going to do this. So I'm actually threatening bishop e6 now. So if rook a8 or something, bishop e6. Uh, I didn't see that because I suck.
H5 doesn't work. <sighs> Alright, whatever. Did I just blunder my e-pawn? Oh man, I'll have to sleep, man. I mean, queen e3, maybe it's like, okay. Just getting, ah, fuck it. It's getting too much compensation, but I don't know what else to do. Alright, like knight h4, like huge compensation. Uh, bishop c2. Mm. Maybe it's okay. If he takes on h4. I didn't even see that move, though. All right, folks. Bishop c2 anyway. You know what? Nah, no, he's queen f4. <sighs> Maybe bishop c2 anyway. I don't know. I, mean, I totally botch this up big time. Like, horrible botch up. Ah, <laughs> uh, maybe queen e3, just end. I don't, know. I don't know, man. I'm just trying for some kind of uh, bishop c2 move, but it's going to be hard to make it work. If he moves the knight, bishop c4, if queen f4 is probably the best move, and then I can always go bishop c2, it's like maybe it's equal. Uh, uh, it's annoying ish. I give up. Queen of four now is actually really annoying though. I didn't see that. I thought I suck. <laughs> uh, I thought I had um some good moves. Whatever. I'm just losing. I just played horribly. It is a horrible game. Uh, I was trying to crush him too much for like no reason. I could just played normally and just been better the whole game. But instead, I tried to punish him repeatedly. Um, I don't know, man. I really, I really screwed it up. Allowing knight c5 is horrible. Game's not over yet, but it's, it's not looking good. This guy's rating wasn't bad. For some reason, I thought I was like paired way down, but. It, it's got like almost the same raising rating as me. Uh, let's take this actually. I mean, I don't mind an end game. Jesus. <laughs> okay, if you want to trade? This is I'm like not even down anything. Well, I guess I am technically. But I don't know, man. It looks like it's gonna be hard for him to. What am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I could probably take on f6, but maybe I can go for more actually. Taking f6 stupid. Maybe I'll go queen g3. No, I need, uh, wow, look at that move. Shit, I'll trade, man. I'll trade with you. My rook's better than yours. I know I'm down to 30 seconds, but he's gonna go queen e7. I'll take on a6. My opponent's a noob for some reason. <laughs> Alright, lucky me. That looks like game over. I don't know, he just kind of fell asleep at the switch. Check. Alright, any threats? I don't see any, so I'll do this. Threatening rook g8. Actually, also threatening... No, just rook g8. Only threat. Queen d8, rook h7. Wow. Uh, first I was, th I th I was down more pawns. I thought I was down more pawns than I was. I was actually only down one. Who is my opponent? Enrique Paciencia. Okay. I'm um, just updating my spreadsheet here. That was white. I used 2380 and I won. Alright, so what the heck happened there, man? Let's take a look. Somebody's asking me if I'm streaming. Honestly, I, I usually just don't respond to any messages in ICC because because once I start playing, I just don't want people messaging me back when a game's starting. So I really just don't respond to anything. My apologies if I'm about to stream. 
because it's very distracting if you're about to play. Um, so like my big plan was hoping for this, and then I, I, if rook takes queen, it takes knight. First of all, this move is maybe good, but I also have this. You can only take with the queen, the knight check, and knight takes, I'm threatening his rook, and I'm just winning. I take his knight next move. So that was like my little cheapo attempt. He went here, I mean, I must just be much better. I, I couldn't find like a... Yeah, it just says my move's good. Rook d7, queen e3. Why didn't I go queen e3 right away? This is bishop e6. He has to take with the queen. Oh, and then rook d1, threatening h5. I mean, yeah, I was going for more, but I, I just kind of overlooked my opponent's counterplay, which was really stupid. Queen e3, hmm. I guess it's stupid. <laughs> this is stupid. Bishop c2, that would have been interesting, instead of taking the rook. It's funny enough, it thinks I'm doing fine the whole game. So I guess uh, my active pieces were so good that um, everything was okay. Queen g3. I knew this endgame was good for me, and now I just blundered. So, you know, my pieces were so good that even when I messed up, I was doing basically okay. So that's the benefit of having a good opening. Sometimes you can mess up a few times, and, and the world doesn't end. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Um,